plane crash lands and bursts into flames on I-26. We now know the flight instructor and student on board of that plane you see there on your screen made it out alive. We first brought you this is breaking news last night. This massive inferno happening near exit 40 in Asheville. And Fox Carolina's Anna Arinder has more now this evening on what caused that plane to go down. Anna. Well, Justin, in that video, you can see those intense flames and heavy smoke as people drove by it. The FAA confirming that the Diamond DA-40 aircraft took off from a flight school lift training academy that's in Myrtle Beach and went down due to an engine failure. Now, according to FlightAware, which is actually a site where you can track flights and listen to air traffic control recordings, smoke began billowing in the cockpit, and you can hear in the recording that the pilot is alerting air traffic control of an air pressure or oil pressure failure rather in the recording. You also can hear that the pilot is telling the ATC that they restarted the engine, but they heard a bang and lost it again. Now, knowing they wouldn't make it to the Asheville airport, they force landed on I-26, which is what you're looking at right here. Again, both able to make it out of that plane unharmed miraculously. I spoke with an instructor, Clayton Caldwell at the Greenville Aviation Flight School here in Greenville about the crash, getting some perspective on what happened in those intense moments inside the plane. They had smoke in the cockpit, so that's obviously a very terrifying thing to deal with. It can cause issues with your breathing, can cause your vision to be uh, hard to see out the window, especially at night. This, you know, this occurred in darkness. So big things they might be doing is opening vents, trying to get smoke out of the cockpit. If it's possibly electrical, trying to turn electrical equipment off to prevent the electrical fire, securing the engine. They don't want to cause any more further damage to the engine. The big thing, though, that they instantly were doing, and I could tell just looking at the flight track, is flying the plane. In an emergency, no matter what's happening, we can't lose concentration of flying the plane first. That's our first priority. Ultimately, I think the thing that is amazing is they walked away from this landing. We always say a landing you can walk away from is a good landing. Again, we know the plane was being operated by Lyft Training Academy in Myrtle Beach. They did send us a statement on the incident. You can find that on our website, foxcarolina.com. Also, something to be aware of if you live in western North Carolina or headed that way this weekend, parts of it will be closed on I-26 for repairs to the section of the road where the plane crashed. We'll have all that information on our website for you as well. Justin.